What is up everyone? Welcome to Sports Key to Minecraft. If you're looking at me, you might notice something a little bit different. I am nice and shiny and reflective and bloomy. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> if looking around, you can see that uh, things are just a little bit different. Things are more realistic and I can zoom in on my face here. And oh yeah, that is, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> also looking behind me, Wow, you can really, that is a huge giveaway. Behind me there is the sun, and it's looking straight out of a Michael Bay film. Look at that, that's crazy. If I turn around here and we fly around, you can start to see that the Minecraft world has been converted into a super realistic version of itself. Furthermore, if we look at the water here, it's nice and shiny, and I just, I can't get over it. This is amazing. It looks so pretty. <laughs> Even the sun reflects off of the water. That's how crazy detailed this is. As you can see, this tree here reflects off of the water. Pretty nuts. Today we're going to be covering the 10 best shader packs for Minecraft 1.16.5. I'm super excited to talk about this because uh, I love making Minecraft look crazy good. Oh, we didn't even talk about the clouds yet. Look at that. I want to fly up to them. I'm flying up to the clouds. Oh, it's actually working. I'm getting closer. We're getting close to the clouds. I just wanted to fly up and see uh, what things look like. Oh, and we are far. Oh, here we go. That was crazy. You see that? Okay, well yeah, essentially the clouds are super realistic too, and this is dropping my frame rate like crazy. Alrighty, here we are, back at the shader hub, so we can take a look at some blocks, and we can take a look at some different daytime, nighttime, weather scenarios, all of that. So the first shader pack we have installed here is called Beyond Belief, and this is the legacy version. And uh, yeah, as you can see, as we've been flying around, it's a pretty, very nice shader pack. Uh, let's take a look at what it looks like at nighttime. Ooh. Very ambient, you can see the moon just peeking over the trees, that looks very nice. You can see everything has a nice faint glow when you look around, especially these lights surrounding the area. It sets a really nice atmosphere. And the sky, wow, that's really nice. Quickly do a nice aerial view here. Let's take a look at the water. It really is almost cinematic. I really feel like I'm in cold water right now. Let's go ahead and add some rain here and we'll see what this starts to look like. Uh, each shader pack has a different kind of rain and how it affects the the fog and the volumetric lighting. So we'll take a look at that. As you can see, everything sort of just becomes very hard to see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Everything becomes reflective. That is awesome. I love that. You can see the end rods here shining off the floor. Turn it back to day and see what daytime Oh yeah, that's a huge difference. This is what daytime rain looks like. And yeah, wow, this is very realistic. Just look at the world, man, it's crazy. All right, it's time to give a different shader pack a chance. This was Beyond Belief, and if you wanna check out all these shader packs, all their links will be in the description below. Up next is a more calm shader pack. It's called BSL. This is one of the more common, famous shader packs that are around. Let's go ahead and clear up the weather here so we can take a good first look. As you can see, everything is much more tame. We don't have as crazy of lens flares or anything crazy going on, but as you can see, things are more defined and more or less realistic, but rather, oh, I take that back. Look at this water, it actually has ripples. Oh my gosh, let's dive in. Ooh, I really like how this looks. With the reflections of the trees underwater, this looks amazing, wow. So just taking a walk around, as you can see, things are nice and very pretty, for sure. This definitely isn't an ugly shader. There are a few shaders on here that work on PCs, lower end PCs better than others, but um, that's really just up to you and how you play the game and what settings you choose to have. Taking a look here, you can see our nice block palette. Everything's nice and shiny, and the sun has a really nice glow. All right, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and try it out in nighttime and in daytime. So we'll click this button here. Ooh, I like this nighttime a lot more, just my preference than the last one. It's more subtle, you're able to see what's going on, and uh, the shadows and the different sh back face shading is just so much nicer. I have this nice pink glow on the other side here, and if I'm not mistaken, that is the sun and that's the moon. Yes, the stars and the clouds and the water, it all comes together just really pretty, especially with this pink glow here. <laughs> very pretty. I really like how this shader handles light too. It's really nice to look at. Let's add some rain here and we'll just see how this looks when it's raining. Alrighty. So I've given it a second to start pouring and it doesn't really reflect the floor like the last shader pack, 
which is something I prefer. I like seeing the water kind of collect. This shader is, after all, better for just overall usage. And this is something you can actually play with in a survival world and it's not too distracting. So I think that's, it's good in its own way. I definitely love this shader. Again, this shader is called BSL. Let's try the other ones. Alrighty, next up on the list is called Nostalgia. And my gosh, do I love the look of this one. Look at the clouds. I love that. Everything just has a nice, clean cut to it. And it really just is really satisfying and clean to look at. I love the shadows and the way that the blocks look. It's almost like everything is slightly tinted to more vibrant. And you can actually fly up to these clouds here. And look at this. You can go through them and they're proper volumetric clouds. That's so cool. That's awesome. I, I love the shape of them too. It's really nice. <laughs> I love it. And add some rain and we'll see what this looks like. Ooh. It's a, it's a pleasing rain to look at. It's like a soft drizzle. Oh, that can't be a good sign. <laughs> Let's go ahead and set this to daytime and we'll clear up the rain. Wow. You can see everything turns from gray to a nice, clear daytime. Everything does just kind of have a nice, clean look to it. I really like it. This shader is called Nostalgia, and if you have the computer to handle it, you should definitely give it a shot. Alrighty, now we are in a shader pack called Oceano. And just looking at the water here, you can see where it gets its name. So pretty, so vibrant. Look at how blue this water is. <laughs> very, very nice. Ooh, and the fish was like blurry. Flying up to the surface, you can just see the nice reflections and ripples in the water. And I really like the colors of this shader. It's very saturated, very vibrant, and it's a, a happier feel to Minecraft. Look at those wool colors right there. Very pretty. Let's take a look at our color palette here. Everything looks nice, vibrant. And if we set it to nighttime here, we can get an idea of the horizon. This, so far, has been my favorite horizon just because of how realistic it looks. It really reminds me of a real horizon and uh, yeah, it's very pretty. Also the sky, I really like. I like, I really like the stars, how they're little dots and such, I just really like it. Let's go ahead and add some rain here so we can take a look. We'll click this button here. And you can see the rain will start to pour. As for rain, this isn't the most eventful shader pack I've ever seen. You know, we don't have the nice reflections on the water. Uh, or any puddles being generated, but you know, it's nothing too bad. I really like it still. I mean, who likes rain anyways? You get all wet and everything, so. If you like to avoid the rain, then you'll love this shader pack. It's called Oceana. Now let's take a look at another shader pack. Next up, we have Sonic Aethers Renewed. This is one of the most common shader packs you'll see pretty much always. This is one of the most common shader packs you'll see ever. It's been around for so long and so many people have used it, so. And it's for good reason. You know, the shader pack looks great. The water looks great. It runs really well. And it just, the sky is very realistic. And underwater, of course, looks amazing. Got nice murky waters with these fish swimming around. Even the reflections here, even just noticing the reflections here on the blocks, how they kind of just, the light cast through the water onto the blocks, looks really nice. Now if we swim back to surface here, we can take a look at some of the shadows and such. So you can see, Everything is just looking very nice. And considering that this shader pack is the most popular, some would argue, there's no bad angle to look at the shader. Everything that you'll look at looks really nice, and really appealing. Let's go ahead and take a look at some rain. And we'll see how this looks. Now, if I remember correctly, this should start to add puddles. I don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. Oh yes, here we go. There we go, as you can see. Oh yeah, look at that. That, I love that. The fact that there's little droplets, that really just takes the shader to a whole nother level. Take it, take a look at this. The fact that the water is just dropping on here, it looks very nice. Very nice indeed. The carpet, oh man, everything just looks very nice. Set to nighttime here. This is what the nighttime looks like. Very similar, just nice dark atmospheric. Let's take a look what a clear night sky looks like. Ooh, I like that a lot. That reminds me of a Bob Ross painting is what that does. That's pretty. I love the pinks and purples there. That's really pretty. I really like the sky colors that they chose for this. And uh, the way the light kind of just bounces off of things, it's really satisfying. So this has been Sonic Aether's Renewed. We're gonna take a look at Sonic Aether's Ultra. Boom, 
now we're in Sonic Aether's Ultra. And if we turn this to daytime here, you can see that it really takes the shader to the next step. It's not as smooth to look at. As you can see, details are much sharper, especially this grass here. See, there's a lot more detail going on, especially the sky here too. So much detail. But the shader runs really well. As you can see, the water has a very faint ripple, which some people might prefer. This shader is definitely for people who prefer to have a more vanilla experience, but mixing in some of these colors here and having a nice clean look as well. Go ahead and turn it to night here. As you can see, the way the light kind of glows. Ooh, that has to be my favorite moon so far. That looks really nice and ambient. On the other side here, we can see the sun, nothing too eventful. And uh, let's go ahead and toggle some rain. Ooh, look at this glowstone. I really like that. I really like that. That looks really nice. Doesn't it? <laughs> Let's add some rain. We'll see what this looks like. As you can see, the world starts to get very blurry. You can hardly make out details in the distance, which is very accurate. This is what rain would actually do. You notice that light objects have a much stronger glow because of the precipitation. Or big words. I don't know big words, but... <laughs> Basically, the atmosphere of the rain would make the glowstone have a larger glow and a larger spread. And uh, that's following the real life science, so I guess that's cool. I'm not much of a science person, but uh, yeah, that glowstone looks really nice in rain. Let's go ahead and clear this up and check out our next shader pack. Next up, we have Sildur's Vibrant Shaders. This is another popular one that a lot of people use, and it's one that I used for a while. This one has its perks, such as God Rays, which if we get into the right angle, we might be able to see. Oh yeah, here we go. As you can see, we have a God Ray right here, Sunbeam, kind of coming down from the sky. It'll look better if we go into the trees here. Oh yeah, you can really make out all the sunbeams, like this egg that is <laughs> looks like it's a gift from God. <laughs> Sun. Yes, you're pretty. Oh, that is a weird effect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I spawn a chicken. This is just a very pretty shader. The clouds are also, if I remember correctly, volumetric and you can fly through them. Oh yeah, you can uh, actually fly through the clouds. Let's go ahead and uh, try and find one. Oh, here we go. We got one right here. So we're actually falling through a cloud just like that. That's something special, I love that. These are probably the most realistic clouds out of all the shader packs that I've seen. You know, these are proper clouds. These are what real clouds would look like. That's really nice. Taking a look at the water, very nice. Nice and shiny, nice and ripply. This one has more of a cyan tint to it, which is nice. It's nice and vibrant underwater. Fish, still happy as ever. You know the drill. Let's go ahead and set it to nighttime and we'll add some rain. Ooh. I don't know guys, I don't know. The way this pink and blue mix, so wow, and the sun right there. This is a really nice ambient shader. I love this, especially with the moon crowing and this going down, it's just really pretty. The stars, the clouds, it all comes together, it's really nice. See, it's a very nice and soft rain. And as you can see, if you notice these little spots on my camera will start to ripple as droplets are actually hitting our Minecraft player and it's distorting our vision. Kind of like how you see rain hit a window and it makes ripples on the glass. It's doing that same effect. Things look better than ever. It's great, I love the shader. You should check out Silders if you don't have a great PC and you still wanna experience that nice shader experience. Let's take a look at another shader pack. Next up we have Sora. As you can see, this is a pretty nice shader. I think this shader has the nicest blue skies out of all of them. I just really like looking at it. And uh, the blocks are really nice to look at too. And the water is pretty realistic. It's nice and clear. And uh, going in here, ooh, a nice blue tint. You can see the sun hitting the camera there and creating that little aura, which is nice. If we fly up here and go to land, take a look at the stupid sheep. Very nice shader all around. Let's go ahead and set it to night and we'll see what this looks like. Ooh. Oh yeah. See, I'm just a sucker for nice atmospheric settings like this. And with this shader, I think it's gonna be very hard to find a bad angle, especially with clouds and suns and moons like this. I would say the most realistic, because you can see there are blue skies and light in the distance, 
but it's covered by these dark clouds. I think that looks really nice. I think most shader packs opt for a really dark, gloomy setting like this, but to show that there's blue and white in the background, I think really makes it look more realistic. Let's go ahead and clear everything up and we'll try our next shader. Lastly is V+. Now looking around, this is less of a shader and more of a regular Minecraft enhancer. As you can see, the Minecraft regular blocky clouds are there, but they are foggier and they're more volumetric. Again, looking at the water here, it's not necessarily super realistic and super wavy, but it is different. It's, it's cleaner and you can see the sun bouncing off of them. And if you can dive in here, you can see that there is a nice setting under here. This shader is probably best for most people's PCs. As you can see, there's not a whole lot going on, but it really does enhance your regular vanilla Minecraft experience. As well, you get these nice shadows bouncing off of everything. And I think something we can all agree on is all these shaders look amazing on your computer, regardless of what setting you're in. And uh, let's go ahead and try night. Ah. Wow, look at that. I love that. I love that sun a lot. It's so orange. You got a nice sunset here. You can go ahead and add some rain and we'll see what that looks like. Very interesting. As you can see, this shader pack adds fog around the area and really starts to make things hard to see in the distance. As you can see, there's a creeper there, hidden in plain sight. Lastly, what I want to do is clear everything up and set this to daytime. And I want to fly through one of these clouds and see what it looks like. Each shader pack kind of handles clouds differently. So I'm curious to see what this is like when you get up close. Oh yeah, look at that. It just dissolves. It's so weird that that's right here. You can just fly through it. Wow. Well, everyone, that has been my top 10 shader packs of 1.16.5. If you want to check out all these shaders, they'll be in order of appearance in the description below, and all their download links will be down there as well. Remember to subscribe so you can stay in the loop with Sports Kingdom Minecraft and all of our updates so you can see more videos like this. Subscribing also lets us know that we're doing a good job and you like to see content more like this. My name has been Nautical. This has been Sports Key to Minecraft. Stay safe and have a good one. Peace.